hey my friends so do you want to learn how to share your content across 20 even more platforms every single day with just 30 minutes of your time can you imagine having your content everywhere and not spending you know hours and hours a day doing it right what if it could you could do it in like 30 minutes a day right wouldn't that be amazing you can grow your fans you can grow your audience you can grow your your traffic by promoting to all the platforms it is possible you can actually do that you can create a piece of content and then you can share that piece of content across all these platforms by following a simple process and that's how you get to doing it in less than 30 minutes every single day I do that every day you see me everywhere you're seeing this or maybe you're hearing this on one of the podcast platforms <laughs> or seeing it on one of the social media platforms the video or seeing a picture well obviously if you're seeing a picture you're not seeing me talk but that if you've come to my blog or you've come to the video and you're seeing this or you're hearing this then you know that I'm everywhere every single day I post 20 more than 20 platforms and I'm going to show you how I do it so you can do it too and how it's possible to do it with less than 30 minutes a day all right so let's first uh <laughs> sorry first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so we're going to talk about how to share to 20 platforms within 30 minutes every single so you can do it every single day uh you don't have to do it every day whatever whatever you do but I'm just saying it'll take you around 30 minutes to share it to all the different platforms if you follow this simple process and by the way if you're listening to this live or you're watching this video on YouTube on Facebook on LinkedIn on Twitter on Instagram go ahead and comment below and let me know where you're watching from and you know where do you post where are you posting and how often do you post and what are your struggles with trying to post to multiple platforms right because I know me I started in 2015 with just one platform well really kind of three right kind of three but it was basically create a video post it to YouTube then create a blog post and sh and with the video in the blog post and then share that to Facebook that's kind of how I started I started with that every single day I would do a new video I would create a new blog post I would add the video to the blog post upload the video to YouTube and then I would share that on my Facebook page at the time it was uh simple it was simple but at the same time it was new to me so you know there was lots of stuff that I was learning I was trying to figure out you know do I post the video live do I post the video as a as a as an upload uh do I just put a link to my blog do I just put a link to the YouTube video I mean all these things they're all different and you need to learn all these things too right and I'm not saying that if you're if you're just posting to one platform I'm not saying you're ready to go and post to 20 platforms right uh, that's a process that you can learn into and it can take you a while to figure all the different platforms out how to do and all that but the, and there's a lot of it that has to do with taking content from one place and then share it sharing it someplace else right that's a process in itself and it takes a while for you to get used to it all now me I'm putting together you know a platform that will allow you to do that all very easily and I'm working on that right now we're going to talk about that at the end of this if you're listening to the audio and you're going to get cut short you got to make sure you go check out you got to go find the video at <laughs> on my blog post at uh, let me just uh, show you here where's the link so it's going to be cis246.jsgagnon.com cis246.jsgagnon uh, jsgagnon.com go check it out there you're going to see the end of the video the end of the audio uh well not an audio on the blog post but the end of the video and I'm also going to explain how to do this how to join this uh this program it's actually in beta right now 
and uh, you can join it uh, as well but anyways we're going to talk about the process before this whole automation thing that I've got that you can do within you know about 30 minutes if you learn all the steps right so what do I do let me just kind of share with you a little bit of what it is that I do <laughs> in my syndication process uh, over here uh, where's the webcam so in my syndication process right I basically have all of this that I'm doing right you can see I don't know if you can see yeah you can see it all here if you're listening to the audio what I'm showing right now is I'm showing you the how to record a video that I use OBS all right so I record a video so here's the process I record a video and then I re write a blog post and then I use those two pieces of content as the um the content that I'm going to share everywhere else and as you can see from this diagram basically I take a, I record a video which generates for me an, M, an mp4 a video file right and then I do a blog post and I generate some text from there then I run uh, let's just uh, whoops zoom into this then I run a process to generate all the thumbnails some text for each of the different platforms and a short video to share to platforms that don't allow for the long video because you know this video here is that we're at six minutes right now but I mean it's it can be uh up, I usually do it about around the 30 minute mark so 30 minutes is too long for the different platforms I mean on on uh in Instagram TV right IGTV it's 10 minutes I believe on um Twitter it's two minutes and 20 seconds on Pinterest it's 15 minutes on LinkedIn it's 10 minutes so all these different platforms have different requirements so what are you going to record like a video for every single one of them you could but that would take you a lot of time and I'm not saying you shouldn't do that if you have the time you probably should because it's going to get you're you're going to get better engagement especially if you're creating content for LinkedIn and you talk to the LinkedIn audience and the and you wear your LinkedIn outfit right and then you do your Instagram a video and you wear your Instagram outfit and you talk to the Instagram I mean it's different different audiences different styles but if you don't have time to do that then you can use this kind of process this syndication process right where you get these pieces of content the text and the video thumbnail the podcast thumbnail the wave file the email and the uh, and the post for oh look at that I've got a typo in there and then you gen take all this text all these different pieces of text and then you add them to whatever the content is so for example for YouTube I take the text file for YouTube the full video the video thumbnail and I post it to YouTube right so that's that's the process I do for there if I'm posting on LinkedIn LinkedIn doesn't have a thumbnail so I take the LinkedIn text I take the short video which I generate a five minute video for each of the platforms and in that video I have a trailer at the end that's that kind of cuts it off and then there's this the this text that I read that I that I have and it says you know if you want more info on this go to my uh, blog or whatever right so that's the short video it says to go and check the link in the comments or description and you know all that right it's all then I post that to LinkedIn on Facebook I could post the full video but you know one of my goals is to get people to my blog so I want people to come and register and you know see my blog posts and see what else I've got going on and and maybe join my list and those kinds of things so I want to bring as many people to my blog and that's one of the things I do at the end of the video is an invitation for them to go to my blog at the end of the short video not the long one the long one's the full video right but if they end up on my blog they they see the full video there and they can read the blog post if they like reading right if they'd rather read or maybe they're 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 busy they, they can't watch a video right now but they can read a blog post right so that's why I do the text the short video and then the video thumbnail and then the Facebook page I post that to a Facebook page now the other thing that's not really shown here is in LinkedIn I actually share to about uh eight groups or so and Facebook I share to like 20 groups and uh, that's kind of what I do with Facebook and LinkedIn <laughs> then on Pinterest I do the same thing I take the Pinterest text the short video the video thumbnail the, and then post it to Pinterest and on Instagram on IGTV I take the text the 
Instagram text which is basically the same as the face you know some of the text is different right like for example on Pinterest you don't you don't have as many characters to post than you do on Facebook so so you got to have this different text with these different lengths for each of the platforms right that takes time to do all that uh, but like I said when you get used to to well if you have to take the text right the full text of your blog and cut out the pieces for Facebook and then paste it to Facebook then you have to take the the text from your whole blog and all look at that it's only 500 characters on Pinterest or whatever the number is I'm just saying that I don't, don't remember but then you take that and then you share that on Pinterest then you have to go and get the text for IGTV and you have to do that and then you, sh you share that then I also sh use the short video and the full video and I share them on Click eCourse which is a platform that allows you to share to uh, audio platforms so the short video I share uh, to Alexa as a skill and the long video I share as audio to iHeartRadio Spotify Google Podcast and Stitcher I also share a full whoops what's what happened here I moved that too much I also share a whoops that's the stories I also share to SoundCloud I take the wave file that's extracted out of the video and I generate a podcast thumbnail which is a little different because it's square and it's got uh, the the podcast title and then I share that to SoundCloud and then on SoundCloud it automatically goes to iTunes so that's what I do there what else what else do I do uh the next and then that's and then I do an Aweber email right so I take the text I and the, and I generate a gif from the image which is like a moving image right and I put that in a name Aweber broadcast and it goes out to my email list so that's kind of what I do with all this all this craziness right I take all this stuff and I share it everywhere the other thing I do afterwards is the stories now there's a missing LinkedIn right there <laughs> so I I share to LinkedIn as well it's the LinkedIn stories but I basically record a video on Snapchat I actually have another episode that talks about how I do the whole story side of things because the stories they are there only 24 hours so you do you have to do them every day if you want to do that but you kind of talk a little bit about yourself a little bit about what's going on and then also I kind of talk about then I say you know the episode was x or whatever go check it out right so uh, what happens there is that I then share it to Facebook stories share it to Instagram stories and share it to LinkedIn stories afterwards I share it as a video to TikTok right so all these platforms if you see the number of platforms there's quite a bit there's one more thing that happens and that's all automation I use a tool called only wire only wire lets you uh, share a blog post to and probably other things but that really it's I think it's blog post but anyways let's just share your blog post to other platforms I've got it configured so it'll share to blogger to tumblr to my wordpress.org to instapaper pocket reddit live journal and even twitter on there too right so I am, I am actually sharing an additional Twitter uh in here I, I I took I didn't put it in here but there's a Twitter uh in there too and you know that's kind of what I do now how do you I how do you get to a point where that only takes you 30 minutes right you're looking at that you're probably thinking oh my god that's totally insane I can't possibly do that in 30 minutes right well I'll tell you what you can you can do it in 30 minutes and it's possible because after it's it's all about the generation of all the assets right if you can generate all these assets in you know automatically without you having to do any work then you can do all these really quickly I actually do this really quickly I shared a LinkedIn then I shared a Facebook then I shared an Instagram then I shared a Pinterest then I shared a SoundCloud and then I shared a Click eCourse and all the rest is all automated so really all I have to do is I have to record the video create the blog post those are the two things that take longer right they can take longer than take you like you know recording the video if you're doing 30 minute videos it'll take you 30 minutes right at least if not more right some people want to edit the video they want to make it all so much better they want to uh, add all sorts of things to it you know that's okay if you want to do a great video that's fantastic so once you have your video though then you need some text that goes along with the video right so you can do it in a blog post or you can do it elsewhere it really doesn't matter but you need text to share right you can't just share your video everywhere that's that's not you know, I suppose you could but that's probably not uh, the best thing right but then you need something to generate all this now me I have these crazy scripts let me just show you 
uh if I just show you my like the geek talk of things let's just make this a little bit bigger if I go to my code uh it's called oct it's called octo code because of a program I followed from a, my mentor Mark Lalonde called the octo content model so from that teaching that he taught I learned how to do all this and I set it up because you know I'm the I'm an, a person that's a programmer so I don't like to do things over and over I like to minimize the amount of work I actually have to do right so I mean that's kind of what that's kind of what I did with this I um I made it so that I didn't have to uh do it every day manually right so it's all I made I got these scripts so if I go in here I can kind of show you uh let's uh so for example I have the this script here that basically prepares everything is that yeah so I mean it's a it's a program right it's a program that does all the pieces it'll it'll it, it, it I've got these numbers here for the different the different uh, sizes of the platforms how many characters you can have and then I take the the title and I get the episode number and then I then I create some short text link to continue reading and longer video the LinkedIn footer I create a LinkedIn file right the LinkedIn post right here I create a SoundCloud post I create a Pinterest post I create a Facebook live post all these things they're all automated right I do all this automatically uh, I create the YouTube post the Twitter video post uh jukebox I've got another tool that I do some more automation um and then and then uh the Aweber for the email right and after that I generate the uh images so the thumbnail right here the thumbnail is using a command called ffmpeg then I use a script to generate a gif uh, based on the sizes I want and then I get the soundcloud the wave file out or that this uh, this is the soundcloud thumbnail I so sorry it uses all these kind of crazy things convert and composite and and bar, uh, uh, point size with text in it and things like that then I end up with the um trimmed video so I do a trimmed video a two minute video a five minute video and a 10 minute video that I can use on the different platforms and uh yeah so that's kind of how it works that I just run this I, so I just upload the video to YouTube and then I run this script to generate all the different pieces which you know running the script doesn't take that long but it takes maybe 10 minutes to to go through and run and create all these different pieces right and but the thing is that I don't do that work it just gets done for me and then I have all the assets I can use to share to the different platforms like for example if I go to um uh, if I go to my uh to my course income secrets series right if I go to yesterday's uh or the other day or whatever so 15 if I go in here I have all these assets that were generated right all these images um all these files well that's not still not you can see right here well actually we can probably go show you right in, right in here over here you can see if I go back to here and let's see this one you can see I've got all these different assets I've got the text files for all the different uh posts I need I've got the images the gif over here the soundcloud image the thumbnail then I've got the trimmed videos right and then the wave file all these thing all these things automatically get generated so I told you in the beginning of the video that I would share with you a way that you can do this yourself too if you're interested in building something like this if you're interested in using something that lets you do this then you're you you need to keep listening because I'm going to show you how to do this I mean it's it's still in beta it's not available yet but you're going to be able to do that yourself you're all you need all you're going to need to do is have a video and a wordpress or or just text actually you just need text and then you just click a button and then all that stuff comes out and you can use it yourself now like I said it's in beta right now but if you want access early access it's possible so let me just show you how that works so first of all uh, you're going to want to go to clickecourse.com so if you want to get your own syndication engine you want to have your own syndication engine then you can get it from Click eCourse. it's part of the platform this platform is you know something I've been working on for a long time there's a lot of things in this platform but one of the things is uh, the syndication if you click on the plans tab 
you can see all the different things that the platform supports right what we're talking about here is the syndication right uh number of syndication where's the syndication 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 uh, I can't see it oh, there it is right here so how many minutes uh no syndication how many syndication projects can you do per month so you know depending on the plan you're on you can get one four twelve thirty five one twenty so that means how many times you can run the syndication engine on a particular video in a month and right now the beta program we're going to give you free um access well I'm not really sure I'm, I'm not decided yet but definitely going to be one of these higher level plans you're automatically going to get this the, the either the influence professional whatever plan for <laughs> six months so that you can use the full but benefit but even on the free account you can do one you can do one syndication just kind of see how it works how how the process works and <laughs> what we're going to do here is I'm gonna I'm actually going to show you the process but how do you get in here why am I I'm not supposed to be logged in so log out so uh let's just go back here to the um to the plan yeah so normally you would have this okay so if I if you go to here let me just put the link on if you go to clickecourse.com right you go to clickecourse.com you want to register for a free account it doesn't cost anything all you got to do is click on the register and then you can click on continue as whatever your user is but right now I'm going to create a test account for this episode right cis 246 is it I believe so let's just put it back on yeah 246 246 at and put the name they all right okay and then I'm just going to click register so that's basically that's as simple as that I'm going to save it it's going to send you an email and you're going to have to uh, be able to activate it so you just click uh you just you know you'll have to go click in your email if I go to my email for example I should see that email right away basically what it looks like is uh, an email from Click eCourse account activation on Click eCourse right right over here not right now just close so you basically get an email that says welcome to Click eCourse you or someone else uh, request an account and if you did not you can just ignore this email activation will expire after two days uh, however if you did not if you did request all you got to do is click this link so this is what we're going to do we're going to click the link that's going to activate the account for us it'll say that it's successfully activated and then what we can do is we can go in to the syndication well it's not there yet by the way if you want access what you got to do is you got to do this you got to register an account so number one you register a free account number two you enter a support ticket to ask for access to syndication so that's as simple as just click on the little plus here clicking on the support button and just typing in here uh join syndication beta right I'd love to be part of this beta please add me to list right so all you got to do is that you just submit the ticket and then you have uh then it'll I'll be notified and whatever and I'll reply back and everything will be so that's that's all you got to do to be part of this beta to uh, use the syndication engine so now what I can do is I can kind of show you what it looks like right now it's in development but basically uh the way it works I, I don't I don't know let's see I don't know if it'll work for us right but basically uh what you would do is you would go into here you would go to syndication and that would take you to the syndication uh, process by the way under more you can see syndication we're going to add a little bit more stuff in here we're going to show you kind of what syndication is all about uh there we're going to add some stuff in here to kind of make it more but that's basically you go to syndicate uh clickycourse.com syndicate to see it's not like I said it's not there right now if you try to access that link it won't it won't work it'll say can't find the page or something right so you got to make sure you can't go there right now but once the syndication program is available you'll see it there but like I said you go to your menu here and you click on syndication right on the side here right okay so that allows you to access the syndication now this red stuff wouldn't be there but basically you basically create a series right so we'll just create a series we'll call this simple 
online strat strategies right so now you have a series right um and it automatically populates the assets that you want to generate from your series now you can add new assets if you want or you can edit these assets like for example the Facebook um is going to be text is going to look like this it'll it'll have the title there the details there the text there right so you can uh, create a new asset if say I want to add a new asset for oh I guess there's a bug <laughs> I'll have to look I'll have to fix that but anyways you can add a new asset then you can say it's a text asset a video an image asset a video trimmed asset or a um audio asset so you can generate uh, mp3 wave files you know that kind of stuff from your it's okay so now once you're done and you've got your asset created you can choose the asset from the list right and then you can say you can start a syndication right it'll tell you how many you can create if you're just on the free plan you'll get only one right but like I said if you join the beta we'll upgrade you so you can access you can do more so when you start a syndication you basically have to choose a video or you upload a video right so either you choose a file on your computer or you select a URL from YouTube Facebook or Vimeo right once you've got that I'm not going to go through the rest because it's let's go to one that I've done already uh, once you've done it um oh I guess that da, 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 da. so once you've done it it'll kind of look like this and you're going to see the syndication there and every time you do a new syndication you can it'll it'll get added to that but it, this is kind of what it looks like so you go in here and then you select the video right you'll see the video you'll be able to specify video thumbnails you'll be able to say okay I want the thumbnails at this position in the video you can kind of play the video right you can kind of see where let's say I want to I don't know where the thumbnail is now you can specify oops let's say I do this So this as you can see the videos I don't know if there's any sound there probably right um let's turn the sound off in case that that sound okay but anyway so that's the video and you specify the thumbnail I want to say let's say it's a 10 10 right instead and both of them are the same otherwise no maybe not maybe I want the gif at 905 right uh, but you can also specify 0.4 if you want which means it'll be you know 40 milli like like 0.5 would be half between the five and six right so you can specify that too if you want in any case then you can either go straight to the different tabs but I or you can use the next next step right there let me take the, the link out of there and yeah so then basically you're going to be able to specify an episode number you're going to be able to specify a url and a title for your for your um syndication then you have the full text where you basically put the full text of your um episode right um you can use you know bold and things like that in there um anyways but you'll see kind of how it works there's a short text option I'm not sure if I need this or not because really the idea with the short text was that for some of the platforms we needed uh plain text or things like that that maybe we shouldn't use the full text but anyways maybe that won't be there next thing is images right now there's just whether you generate a podcast a thumbnail or not which is from the thumbnail from the video right so it takes the video thumbnail and adds extra stuff to it just like on my podcasts then you choose the trimmed videos do you want to do a two minute a five minute a ten minute the two minute is for uh, twitter five minute is for um uh for Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever else you want to have you can also do a 10 minute on on, on some most of the platforms allowed for 10 minutes but really it's up to you and then the generated assets that's where you're going to see the generated assets when you first come in here there there would be nothing you would have to click a button to generate them but once they're generated you can actually go look at them right I can see the Facebook text right here I can just take this and paste it it actually has that in there and it has at the uh, at the top right the title in bold right that kind of thing course income secrets 140 this is the series name as you can see the series then the title of the post itself 
and then the number of the the episode that you you decided to call this right so uh, that's kind of how that works so if I go back to the uh, scroll down back to the list um, this is all the different assets that got generated based on the series list of assets like I said if you were to add a new asset it would automatically add it here you could click on the refresh here that would add the new asset to the list and would generate it so once they're generated you can go to each of these like you know the video thumbnail for example <clears throat> is there and you can actually go and get the full resolution image right here you can actually download it share it to pl platforms and you know that kind of stuff so we're it's going to be a little bit better organized but this is kind of what it's starting to look like all right so that's how that's how I do it I mean I'm not using the platform yet I do it all from the from my computer right like I showed you I do it all from this 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 command line on my computer using tools and things that I've installed but I'm putting it together in the platform on Click eCourse so you can get it and you can generate it yourself through the platform so hopefully you thought this was a value and I can't wait to hear from you and you know see you on the list of beta uh, beta uh, testers and let me know if you're interested in joining the beta all right so we'll see you in the next episode have a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.